meeting to order. It's a little after four now, so uh, I think first item is public comments. I don't think we have anyone here, but we do. It's time. If there are no public comments. We'll move on to ongoing projects. I'll let Mike update us on that. Let's settle back in here. Yeah, so um, just a quick update on some things we got going on. Uh, um, some of y'all may have noticed that our tunnel lighting is all in, should be working. They're tweaking it to make sure that we don't have some uh, interference from the other lighting, uh, but uh, hopefully it will work on the sensors, and if not, we'll, we'll switch to timers. Do you, uh, do you just want to come on at night? Because I noticed it's on during the daytime. Daytime, okay? Well, they're still working with it. I they're talked to the electrician the other day, okay. and, and he was trying to, uh, to get it to, if he couldn't get the sensors to work properly, yeah. then he was going to switch it to timers. So they're, they're supposed to not be on in the day. Okay. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to be upset if they're on. And yeah. Gonna... As long as they're on at night, huh? Right. <laughs> or when it's cloudy or... Yeah. Right, right. A um, qu little quick update on the Dean's Trail uh, Phase 2. Uh, should be done around the 1st of uh, June. They're just wrapping up the landscaping, the fencing, things like that. Um, Emma, uh, we're hoping to have it open for traffic, I believe, this weekend. Of course, it's, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, it's oh. not going to be finished, but uh, it'll be open for traffic, and they're going to put gravel over the area that they're going to have to uh, to continue with some utility work, but it will be open for traffic. Other than, a, I think there's a, there's a craft fair. There's a craft, craft fair on Saturday. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be shut down for that. Hey, Mike. Yes. Uh, right there at the... On, on the, uh, I guess, the south side of, down there by the, the underpass for the tunnel. Are, are they going to have fencing there um, between the path and, and 412? I'm, I'm not sure. I, I forgot you brought that up. Did, did we talk about that? I don't think we did. Okay. Well, I mean, there is a strip of, of dirt there. I mean, where they put grass and, and landscaping. And stuff, I, just, I was just wondering if it was going to be a little bit more separated. Just as you go through the tunnel and you come back out, you're on the south side of the... Going next to Robinson. North to south. You'd be going east and west at that point because you're turning to make... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's... It's, it's really... It's a wide... It's a wide area. I think it's wider than a lot of the other... So when it comes to up at grade, you're talking about where it parallels 412? Yes. When it's at grade? Without looking at the plans, I believe there is one, but I'd have to double check. Okay. Um, Spring Creek, it's still under design. We've been speaking with the engineers on that, and they're working through the, the floodplain issues and, and uh, continuing to work on the design of that. And the trail counters, um, as soon as I can get this computer to recognize my drive, uh, I got a little information here on the on the trail counters. Uh, I ran. Uh, we 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 got uh, we moved one and we and we installed the new one. So this is the first month of data that we have for these. So this is the daily average. Uh, the boardwalk obviously has the most traffic down there. Uh, uh, the counter on the Greenway at Don Tyson is just north of the intersection there. Uh, it's got quite a bit of traffic going through there. The Dean's Trail counter is at the bridge close to the rodeo grounds. As soon as phase two opens up, I'm gonna to have to move that one down because it's part of our grant requirement to get count numbers down there. But it's got uh, 84 people on average every day. And then uh, Spring Creek Trail is 78. Now, uh, the total numbers, 12,000 people went by that boardwalk uh, counter just in the month of April, um, 6,300 plus on Don Tyson, uh, then Dean's Trail and Spring Creek uh, trailed that. 
Where do you have the counter on Spring Creek Trail? It is at the bridge um, just east of uh, 40th Street. Oh, okay. So kind of a ways down there. Yeah, it's a ways down there. Yeah. So the two with less traffic don't connect anything? So there's part of the issue. You go to the game and fish. I know, but I mean, they don't yeah. loop connect to but, anything. But this inter the next slide is kind of interesting. This is a slide uh, for weekends. And you can see the Spring Creek has more weekend traffic, mm -hmm. and it's more recreational than uh, Dean's Trail. But then when you go to the uh, to the weekday, so it's a commuter trail. It's a commuter trail, yeah. Right. Yep. Which is kind of what we thought. Yeah. Yeah. That, that years ago. Sense. Yeah. But uh, yeah, as, like you said, when we uh, when we finish out Dean's Trail, there'll be more commuter traffic through there and more recreational traffic that has somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that, unless y'all have questions, that's going to wrap up my uh, my other business and, or my uh, updates. What about <coughs> Dean's? <coughs> Dean's is it three that goes to the animal shelter? That's we're waiting on the the three A. Okay, so we we got permission from um, from our doc to put that out to bid. They're working on the documents to do that. Um, we've been working with uh, Garver to, it, it, and we're getting ready to talk about some priorities and some costs and stuff. But the cost is considerably high. Well, that, that's phase three. Anyway, we're, we're trying to work through some cost reductions on these to, to try to get them mm -hmm. a little bit more affordable. Mm -hmm. But uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, they they should be working on the bid documents. I, I have no idea how long that takes, Ryan. Is that a big deal to get the bid documents? Yeah. I just, <coughs> I, <coughs> excuse me. I go to work on Don, Don Tyson, mm -hmm. and that by the animal shelter, that uh, underpass that was built when mm -hmm. it was built. Yeah. On the north side, there appears to be some landscape work going on mm -hmm. or something, and I wonder, is that part of the so, repairing? Uh, the, uh, I don't know the organization. Was that the Illinois oh, Watershed? The Illinois Water. Yeah. Yeah. Water. yeah. Oh, okay. They contacted us wanting to go ahead and get the yeah. the tree started. Mm -hmm. Mr. Repairing thing. Yeah. 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 So, so they, they we tried to work with them to keep them out of where the trees wouldn't be destroyed during the construction. Right. right. <laughs> but they planted trees along most of that route. Yeah, you could see that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not just those little bitty tiny ones they used to put yeah. out. Actually, they look like trees. Yeah, they're about 10 feet tall, 8 or 10. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm afraid that we'll probably lose some of those, but hopefully we won't lose all of them during construction. Yeah. 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 And the Pride Trail section is done now, gets on to 40, the pavement point. I don't know that all of the trails been poured yet, has it? Uh, Jones thinks so. Yeah. Yeah. All of it, but some of it is. Yeah. yeah. There's some gaps in there. I drove yeah. through there the other day and there were some gaps, but it's getting there. It's looking good. I think the whole project is supposed to be finished in August. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So that means the trail will probably open up. So I guess if there are no questions, then we'll move to four. Obviously, we had an election yesterday, and that creates some potential funding, I guess, in the road portion of that, that could be allocated to trails and sidewalks. So uh, it's time to put our hand out, I think. So I guess we're trying to create some priorities here. Um, you know, with the idea of maybe that goes to council at some point and see if we can get some funding. So, do you want to review yeah. this uh, handout? Yeah, I've got a map here. Louise left it. This is nice. Can't pull it off. Okay. So, so uh, we met, the planning staff and the engineering staff met, and we wanted to get this thing rolling. And uh, I spoke with Garver, and uh, we talked to him about what we were talking about. They said, you guys have a great plan. We're here to support you. But uh, we wanted to get some stuff out here. Uh, we, we put seven uh, projects on the paper here that I've given you. It's yours for notes. Scribble on it. Um, let us know projects that uh, is, you guys think are important, and we can discuss all that. But. Uh, as a group, we thought, you know, what's going to be the number one project? Well, I think everybody's excited about getting Dean's Trail done and completing that loop. Um, the price is coming in pretty high on that. 
So we're working with them to try to figure out a way to get that down a little bit. But uh, and how about if I just go through these and then you guys can tell me that you don't like it or they're in the wrong order or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, that's coming down. So the uh, the Dean's Trail we put is number one. The uh, Pride of Springdale Trail we put as number two, and this is actually in two pieces. We've got the uh, the section there that runs from Gutenson over to uh, to the high school area to connect, and then we have the section running from 48th Street over to Jean George. Um, we, it, on the paper it's one, but on the map obviously it's split up because of the other construction that we have going on. Um, we, we put that as number two because I know that's been a lot of conversation about getting that east-west route completed. And that would be subject to the bond issue funding the overpass, right? Yes. Yes. I but think that's that pretty. Doesn't, the term money doesn't come out. I know. Separately. I know. It comes it, to it comes different pot of money. Project. Right. It's a road project. But for that to be a complete project someday, it would have, that would have to be done. Yes. But I think from what the mayor said, that's probably one of the top priority projects right. to get done is to get that overpass done and get across the road. But the overpass includes the trail and the money for that will come out as bond issue, bond issue and not trails money. Not trail set aside money, that's on bond issue money. You're spending your money there. You decided to come in out of the rain? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> wondering. It's raining. <laughs> What we put as, uh, as number three would be the, uh, the, the section of trail that would run from uh, Heisen Park and uh, get basically all the way downtown. Um, I'll go through these, but that, you know, we have the grant to, we don't even have a route picked for that. So these numbers are complete guesses and, and, and they're coming in high enough to kind of be scary. So we might want to consider if that's really as important as, uh, as we put on this sheet. Also, might be one that we could use carbon reduction grant money for to mm -hmm. uh, to build some more construction money. To that. The next item we stuck on here, we, we uh, labeled it smart school connections, and it's basically a, a pot of money to get some connections to the like sidewalks through neighborhoods. We talked about getting over to uh, to George Elementary to those neighborhoods connecting that that the kids don't have a, a path to get there. Uh, getting over to uh, Hunt Elementary through the Dells Woods neighborhood. Those are ideas, and, and we don't have those specific uh, those specific projects identified, but, but to have a program together to where we could pluck them out and complete those. The, uh, the next section is uh, Fitzgerald Mountain uh, Trail. We've had a lot of conversations about how to complete this, how to get across 265 safely. Um, the Jones Center, I think, is still working through their master plan. Uh, an idea to maybe uh, a, an affordable way to get that connection done would be maybe to bring that down across Huntsville with a hawk crossing, hawk crossing. And, and come across the school property and connect to Dean's Trail to where we'd have a safe connection to where you're not having to. And, and it, it doesn't mean that we can't do the other that we've been discussing. But, but it would probably speed that project up considerably if we re rethought it. What's, what kind of crossing are you talking about? A hawk crossing? Yeah, you know, what I would say. So, so if you're familiar you with the Mountain Road John. and Fitzgerald, where Fitzgerald Trail crosses Mountain Road, that's a hawk crossing. So it's a, it's a traffic signal that doesn't, it stops cars, oh. that's it. Oh, that's but it doesn't normally road. function, it only functions when someone presses the button. You know, I, I saw that article about uh, Vision Zero, paper would this be a project that they could help with because that, I mean this is so vision zero is a regional planning project Ryan and I both attend those meetings and basically they're going to put a some stuff on paper about how to make the area safer right um, at some point is there, is there funding that that we might be able to apply for there's grant funding that we can apply for you got to have a plan before you can get any grant funds first. You do. And as part of that, we have uh, let regional planning know everything that was included with the traffic study and what our priority projects are. So they're taking that into consideration for the plan. So hopefully some of these can make it in there. Yeah, and I mean, we've, we've shared our, our data with them, yeah. but we don't have a priority yet. 
So when we when we determine a priority, we can share that with regional planning also and, and get it in line for funding. So if, if we did this hawk crossing, then we would still have the option someday to bridge over from the Jones Center. I don't think that excludes any other routes in the future. Right. No, yeah, my, my thought is, in I'm predicting the future here, is if we bring the Fitzgerald Trail down, tie it to Dean's Trail, now we have Dean's Trail and Fitzgerald crossing 265 mm -hmm. at that same location. Right. Now it makes a good case for doing the tunnel under 265 right. on the diagonal. Right. From the rodeo grounds to the Jones Center. Yeah. And if, if 10 years from now or five years from now, that doesn't seem like that's a great idea and we want to do a bridge over 265 when the Jones Center is done with whatever they want to do to reevaluate their campus, we can look at that too. But I'm just trying to get as many users as I can to that single point so it sure. makes more sense to spend that kind of money. So Fitzgerald would come instead of crossing at Huntsville, it would cross at Emma. Yeah. Okay. And would it come along? 265 to to uh, Emma, or would it be? It would go due south from Gray Drive. So gotcha. that, that property's for sale right now. So that would be you know one opportunity to buy a trail easement across it. The other opportunity is that's the school bus barn. Maybe we can talk them into letting go of 12 feet of land and 14 feet of land and put the trail on them and maybe not to make them. So the route could go on either side of that property line. Mm -hmm. This trail still has to cross Huntsville. It crosses Huntsville, but it doesn't cross 265 at Huntsville. Oh, okay. It comes due right. south to Emma and then crosses on the south side of Emma. Okay. There's a, it's a rough drawing, but on the map there, you can kind of get uh, a visual of how it would come south straight from Huntsville. Which one is it? The far right? It's the uh, number five. Yeah. Number five. That L, reverse L, or backwards L. If I can figure out how to make this any bigger. Oh, there it is. The, well, anyway. Oh, that would allow us to proceed without the Jones Center for yeah. now? For now. Okay. The, uh, the next project we have on here is the, the Falcon Area Trail Improvements, which would uh, connect uh, um, the area to... to J.B. Hunt Park, <coughs> including what Smith Elementary and uh, and Central Junior High. Uh, this would be running along Falcon until you get to the the creek area, and then it would it would be an off road trail cutting over to connect to the park. Mm -hmm. And then it connects, it goes down Silent Grove Road to Gutenson on to Huntsville, so it gets from Central Junior High north to J.B. Hunt Park and from T.G. Smith down Falcon to J.B. Hunt Park. Into the Greenway, into the Springbridge Trail. So how will it go down to Newton Sun and Silent Grove? Well, Silent Grove is a four-lane road that doesn't need to be a four-lane road, so we probably take up the easternmost lane and make that a cycle track. Okay. That's just a preliminary thought. Well, I mean, I like we'll, we'll hire someone to design yeah. something, but okay. that's my thought. We've got a little narrow spot at the north end of that we'll have to overcome. I think it's doable. Yeah. Is that where the right pipe right comes right. across, where it necks down? Yeah. Yeah. There's a contract property owner there. Don't, don't, don't take out yeah. my trees. <laughs> 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 yeah. Don't take out my trees. It's America's renewable resource. Basically. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That'd be a good place for a traffic uh, circle, too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a massive stoplight. At Silent Grove and mm -hmm. Bacchus. Bacchus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it used to be offset by yeah, it just, almost just is enough a, to be it terrible. It almost is a roundabout, mm -hmm. just the way it's designed. Right. We weren't doing those back then when we did that realignment. We didn't do traffic circles or squares no. or anything else. Or just or every time I come through there, I get stopped. And go. Yeah. Every single time. I never did the green line. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they know your car. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. The, uh, the last project on here is the Bacchus uh, Trail Improvements running from uh, 40th Street to the Greenway and the Thompson Crossing. Um, similar to the, to the uh, Falcon Improvements. Um, I, 
guess I would ask you, what did we leave off here that you guys were thinking had in your mind that, that would be priority projects? I was thinking north of the Falcon area, or, well, Spring Creek, I guess, okay. to get an east-west, come, come under the, under the, uh, under 49, and connect back somewhere. So that's being studied to Little, right? To, and then we'd have to get from Little to the the bond project was going to take Gene George to County Line, so we'd have to get from Little to County Line, or somehow connect to Shaw Park. Yeah, so I was just thinking of an east yeah. west on the north side. So well, we're coming under it, theoretically. We'll get to Little under right. Well, we we've asked uh, Kevin to go ahead and look at to get it all the way to Fifty Sixth Street. Stop. Right, and that makes sense. Yeah. And, you know, and, and obviously, yeah. that that did come up, and that was a point of discussion with us. Uh, it's under design. It's part of it's built. Why are we not finishing it? Mm -hmm. When you look at the area and the people it's going to affect, and the money we're already asking for. I mean, it, we can sure put it on there if that's a priority for you guys. Just where would it fit on our priority list? At twenty five million already, and I'm not sure we fit on it at all. Yeah, and that's yeah. kind of where we ended up at. But if, if mm -hmm. I mean, if the committee thinks that that's a, it needs to be moved up. Well, I, I think it's for the. It, it wouldn't serve a large population initially, yeah, initially, but it gives you a master connection yeah. around the 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 city limits that is going to be necessary. And eventually tie to Shaw Park. Mm -hmm. Correct. So I think it's it depends on how you look at it. Mm -hmm. Then I have a question on the Pride Trail from um, that's not mentioned here it would be from Jean George to 112. That connects a whole bunch of people and three schools, but it's not mentioned. I'm sorry. Can you tell me? Okay, this proposes uh, both connecting to the library, essentially the high school, from Goods on it, and then from 40th to or 48th to Gene George, which is 56th Street. So I'm saying to get from 56th Street or Gene George to you know to Highway 112, past the three schools and a lot of rooftops, mm -hmm. including the high school. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I don't disagree with you that that, that would be a, a great a, a great location for a trail. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what kind of cost we'd be into, and I guess as far as the the Pride Trail, we we've got the. Well, if you're going to connect the high schools, but you only go to 56th Street, then you haven't quite done it. Mm -hmm. Is, is my point. that one of those streets that could be narrowed down and a? No, because it's got too much traffic on it already. You know, yeah, it's needed for what it's being used for. We're, we're talking multi-use trail on one side or the other, if, that, yeah. if we're going to extend that. Yeah. So just thinking out loud, you do it on the south side because you got all that area in front of Harbor and you've got a couple of houses there and then you got Young Street to come across when you come across. It'd be nice to be on the south side because you're next to Young and the yeah. high school's on the south side. Yeah, yeah I always thought it would be on the south side. Plus, you got more rooftops in the south side. You do, but there's more right of way available on the north side. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's more green space between the curb and the fences right. on the north side. It may be a little bit of both. Is there not? Did we not do a tunnel under that bridge at Fresh Creek Golf Course? I think we well, did. I think you did. Yeah, I think yeah, we did there, there too. Yeah. 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 That's going on with that development, though, right? And there's the Just tunnel that, that went under Fifty Sixth Street, right? Or there's space under Fifty Sixth Street to put a trail under there, the way it's designed, it's supposed to be. I was I was going under, under the bridge. Under the bridge. Under the bridge on Fifty Sixth Street or Dean George, there should be a place under there where the trail could come under, and then it's going up on the back side of that project that Brian's doing on the corner. At it's following Brush Creek through there, right? Brush Creek up through there, then you tie into. Harbor's the sidewalk on Harbor when you get up to the back up to the sidewalk up there. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a bank on that northern side of the creek that it appears like it could fit mm -hmm. trail on it. We have to double check that. That's sure. where it's a well, yeah, it looks like it would fit, but supposedly it was designed that way. It does. Yes, yeah. Because of the people who designed it and the people who are building on the corner should know that, but yeah. Yeah. So Dean, I think you're right. 
I think the, the question that we had, or the reason that you don't see it here already t type written, is if you don't get the Sprite of Springfield Trail done as no, described, I no, there's I, no point no, in going further. You and I are in agreement, but my point is we also, I think we want to propose specific projects and ask for money. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's the first two or three here, at least the first two. But, and then we did this Garver study, which is like $100 million. And then you got this one, which is sort of in between. It's some of both. As long as we're reserving the corridors formally in the master plan, then it's just a matter of how quick we can get to some of this stuff. And uh, we don't know that. But it seems to me Dean's Trail is the most ready to be completed. It's expensive, but you kind of need to do that. But I wouldn't want to propose it without proposing the Pride Trail, the part that's mentioned here, because I think just from an emotional knee-jerk reaction in the community, you've got to have an east-west connection from the west side of 49. You're not going to get it initially at Watkins, and we don't control Johnson. And Spring Creek is going to be a hard sell because you don't have rooftops out there. So you, I think All you, good points. I think you have to present at least the second one, I would think the first one actually makes more sense, but it's a harder sell because, in a way, because we're not connecting a lot of people. I would think you'd propose at least the first two in some fashion. And whether you bridge over old Missouri down there or not, I, you know, that was, we haven't talked about that today. I know that's expensive. What about keeping that smart school connections in there, just the money set aside to do some of these yeah, and I think I think the mayor seemed really um, insistent, and I agree with him, to do some of these easier connections. Maybe even using some of the so, set aside money, not necessarily all along. If you if you did one, two, and four, obviously with support for the other ones, but yeah, I think that's what we're here for is to get some guidance, get them. And I don't think we need to take any off. I mean, you always have to have something. No, don't take them off, but yeah. I think we're ranking them yep. or, or prioritizing. There's yeah. only so much you can do. We're not going to go and get $25 anymore. million, dollars, in my opinion. Down the list? No, I mean, you guys not. would know. Y'all work with we're not the mayor gonna, council, but we're not going to get $25 million there <laughs> or we wouldn't have to worry about raking them. <laughs> right. But to me, if you start Dean's Trail, you're kind of need to finish it. We've already spent a bunch of money. It would be embarrassing not to, and I think you would see the usage dramatically increase. It's a much safer route than the, uh, than the current route down to Lake Fayetteville mm -hmm. because you go into the two yeah. main problem yeah. uh, intersections. Once Dean's Trail gets completely finished. All that traffic's going to move, or a lot of it. Yeah, people, bike riders will stop riding on Powell. I mean, Powell, Powell's really, a, it's a dangerous road to ride across. It is. Don Tyson. I've had a lot of near misses on Powell. Well, and intersection crossings. Two too. folks that have been hit, just uh, one at 412 and one on Don right. Tyson, and one's been paralyzed from Lake Mountain for the last two or three years. You know, yeah. People coming up, turning on the right, at, you know, when they're going east and west, they'll just turn the right on the red. And, you know, people are crossing. You know. mm -hmm. But it'll probably be uh, the new greenway, you know, uh, like when they do the uh, you know, square to square, probably go around that. You know, it'll, it'll be it'll be popular. You know, you know have and, Powell Hill, which, mm -hmm. which some people true. avoid. Yeah, <laughs> and like last night on our ride, we had another flat. This lady, you know, she wanted a tire mm -hmm. on Powell. You know, it's just a it's just a road that you're going to get because it's not really you know off the road. So anyway, that's just my take on it. I think Dean was right. We need to get that. That probably should be priority number one. But I don't think even if it get if these get chosen as bond projects, that doesn't mean we stop looking for other money. We can find tap money or right. carbon grant or whatever, and then any money we can replace off of that, we promptly turn back around and say, now let's do this with it for active transportation. Uh, so you need to buy off a chunk you think you can we can chew. <laughs> I guess, and, and then we need to keep yeah going forward. Part of this, one is pretty straightforward, four is pretty straightforward, two, two could be done. I phases. think you could go in and do Gutensohn to the library um, with a full recommendation and then recommend 
48 to Gene George subject to the city starting on the overpass because otherwise you're not connecting anything much. You're going a few blocks, you know, a few blocks. True, with but just I think a little. That bridge is going to happen. Fast I know, but I'm I'm just something. saying it's it would not make sense to do that unless the bridge is done. And absolutely, you know, I know that's going to happen, but you know. Well, the reason Gene George is the stopping point on this one, this right. is my thoughts, is if you get to Gene George, there's a 12-foot trail to go south from there. Right. And then when Gene George North gets built, which is on its right. number, whatever, on our list. And that's true. It goes north all the way to County Line Road. You, yeah. You've got the Shaw Park. Yeah. It's a different path. It's a different path. Yeah. It's yeah. not as pretty. And then Watkins will get done so you can at least get to Randall Tyson Park, even if you can't all go across town. And I, and I kind of like what you're saying as far as if we broke it up into phases and, yeah. uh, you know, prioritize those phases, we're biting off less per phase. Maybe we can get that, that section between Gutenson and Pleasant it may not be overly expensive. Well, I, I don't quite understand what the study's going to tell us, but mm -hmm. we haven't seen it, but, or I haven't. But They're probably going to give us some options. Right. Well, the question is, do we want it to go south, tie in Westwood School, and come to there instead of going down Emma? So you bring it closer to, to not not Westwood sounds that way. It's going to it's Westwood. Westwood. That's what yeah. 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 Westwood. Yeah, catch the, that whole neighborhood that brings those kids into Westwood because we've talked with the school district for several years trying to get a easier path for those kids to walk to school. Yeah. So you go down the property line there of the school, okay, mm -hmm. and then cut across and there's that vacant area at the end of mm -hmm. is it Rogers Avenue right. that comes through there, cut across where that. I live at Cemetery is, you know, coming on to Emma, but you make a better connection for the schools that are in there. Well, ultimately, we're trying to get to Maple Lake. Yeah, we're trying to get to Maple Lake. We're trying to be our style. Yeah. yeah, doesn't have to come out of Emma. Yeah. And then I do think at some point when 56th Street is firm up to county line, that we're going to really need to bump that priority, connect that back over to Spring Creek. At that point, mm -hmm. just as a big connection, not because there's a bunch of rooftops right there. But and there's a good route along the creek and up up a hillside that's mm -hmm. owned by the city. Mm -hmm. Yep, really pretty section, and the Waltons have looked at it for a uh, mountain bike. Yeah, it's a different kind of trail that would be maybe funded with some different kind of funds. It depends on if they wake up one of the trails again. You never know. Hmm. Or what you can sell them on. So if the East West Watkins route gets delayed, I guess you'd be way to put it, which appears likely. What then you really only have one East West route because the, Spring Creek's being delayed and then Johnson doesn't have any money to play, so um, the Pride Trail is the only one that moves traffic east and west. Watkins is on the city pl plan for roads, correct? Watkins is, it's, it's under the current bond program. Yeah. And it gets you from Tyson Park across the interstate yeah. and tied into what, whatever's going to happen over there. Right. North mm -hmm. of the All Walmart. those apartments and right. school. And there used to be some road paint down into Johnson um, on 48th there. But then it's kind of hard to get through Johnson over to Ball Street still, which would be another east-west connection. And I still don't think they have any money. So. Well, if 56th Street ever gets extended all the way down to Johnson Mill, Johnson Mill down then you've, got a, creek, you've yeah. got a connection all the way down to that. Right. And that's one that Johnson's probably going to have a little bit more idea of putting money into than yeah. the other one. Oh, well, and, and, and all it takes is one person to decide that's where we're going to put up the money. Right. <coughs> who true. would that be? The <laughs> person that lives out that direction <laughs> wants that road move from in front of his house. Mm -hmm. He just needs to be reminded how it gets done. So it, it sounds like we're getting a consensus on one and two. Is that, is that yeah. sound right? But one, two, and four. And four. Would it be Dean's, the schools, and then Pride? I, I would... I would I'd be think inclined the to listen. Need to, to compete with either of those. I think we just asked for some school yeah. connection monies, some funding source for that. It's, Even if it's not bond program, could it be 
So let's set aside money. We mean this estimate's only $650,000. What do you mean? Yes. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, Chris. James has that budget, right? Who has that budget? James is part yeah. of James's, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's only 650000 is what's being asked for yeah. here. And that's. Well, we pulled that number out of the air. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> out of where? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we thought, what, what can we maybe get? What's a reasonable ask to have a pot of money to try to make some of these small connections? I'd up it. <laughs> Just, if we're only going to pick three right now, I'd up it. Well, if you guys are good with the list that's on here, let us sit down with the mayor and, and James and start looking at well, how can we, how can we put money to some of these. Are, are, I guess what we're looking okay. like to asking for today: Are we on the wrong track? Is there something we left off? We need to put on there, and then we got to play the game of how do we get some of these things funded. I we don't have a list to start with. We're never going to get anywhere. I think you're on the right track. Well, I would ask you that on this, uh, on the Watkins, that I think we're going to have a, a lot of sticker shock on that. And I hate for that to block other projects that might be doable. Mm -hmm. The Watkins one would be one, if it's not the priority now, that we could go back to, probably not right now given their earnings, but go back to Tyson mm -hmm. at some point and have that discussion. If they want it, they're going to have to help. Mm -hmm. I would, I would not be inclined to do that right now. <laughs> well, there's some carbon reduction construction money that mm -hmm. there's not very many projects out there that can qualify like that one can for actual carbon reduction right. because we're taking people off the... And, you know, we, we need to keep one there just in case there's some money. We don't want to go back to Washington if it's going to come to the region. Mm -hmm. We need to right. make sure we have a project. So if we kind of keep this one nudging along, mm -hmm. that puts us in line to use that money that's out there. Some of the ones that have been proposed, if you really look at the definition of carbon reduction, it's really not carbon reduction. Because if you're just connecting two sidewalks in a, in a subdivision, that's not carbon reduction. Mm -hmm. You've got to connect things together, and that's really what we're trying to do with this, especially with a major employer. Well, yeah, I think we need to set a route for the Watkins Chapman West on of the course. master trail plan. Mm -hmm. And then even if we just build pieces of it to, mm -hmm. to get to the point where we made the full connection. Right. But, there's no reason to expect that we wouldn't still get a million a year for active transportation, yeah. right? right? Oh, no. So yeah. that money has not been, yeah. it's not in here. Yeah. So, you know, in five years, you have five million bucks, you're pretty close. Yeah. It's a seven million dollar, eight, seven and a half million dollar project. Well, and Tyson's got more campuses they want to hook together. The new, mm -hmm. where the call center used to be, mm -hmm. downtown, and their corporate office, that kind of pulls all that kind of stuff together, too. There again, there may be, the timing may not be right right now, but it could be that that be something that they need to talk. They need carbon reduction footprint stuff too. Well, I think you're going to see reasonably once Walmart corporate is open, it's all designed and encouragement of e-bikes and whatnot. And I think that mode of transportation to work is going to become more common, acceptable. Um, and you'll begin to see that in Springdale too. Tyson's is waiting to see how it works. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of stuff. So, you guys have been in every meeting I've been into. Do you think it's important that we do have, that we, that we work out some kind of a priority list here before this goes to council? I think we're putting together a list that we're recommending to the mayor, and the mayor is going to send it to council with his recommendation, which is going to look a lot like ours mm -hmm. with other projects that are you know, my approach so it said 135 million right my approach is i think we're going to take 100 million worth of projects and say the other 35 is the unknowns and then as the these projects start getting funded and are actually under construction well, the numbers will become clear, and then we start adding the projects off of the list of things we want to do, but we're, we only go design the, the 17th project when we may only have enough money to do 12 of them, right? Because then we've wasted your money. So I think the same thing would happen here. You, you send them the, the list of the two, three, whatever the number is, say these are the ones we want to do under the bond, and if there's any money that becomes available or left over from anything else, We'd also like to do these two in this priority. Make sure that you've got enough on there to be covered 
way more than what you'll ever get, and then start using the million a year towards that, and we'll continue to apply for TAP and other carbon reduction and stretch the money as far as we can stretch it. So that's that's my thought. Well, it sounds like we're pretty firm on one and two. Yeah. What are we going to put as number three? I'd like to see Falcon on that because we got a lot of comments, you know, on our little mm -hmm. survey, and a lot of people were saying we need to be able to get to the J.B. Hunt Park. Well, I think the mayor's real focused on that too. Yeah. It seems to be. And I'm sorry. The mayor seems to be kind of zeroed in on that area too. Okay. With, I mean, we need his buy-in, obviously. Yeah. I mean, we we went over all these with him, and he right. wants he wants to know what the committee supports. That's what he said. He, well, he likes them all, but he yeah. wanted to yeah. know which ones you guys thought were yeah. most important, and then what's second most important. So, uh, I have to say, 40th Street is being widened into a four lane from Falcon to how far? Is that going to go to Wagner Road? To the bridge. Oh, just to the bridge. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now, there, there is a bond project to extend it from the bridge north. I don't think it's going to make the cut. Okay. So, if, and I, have, you know, I should have, but then you have a little loop then, right? You can right. use the Greenway and the Spring Creek Trail. Right. And then come back across on 40th from Game and Fish and then right. back and, and so someone I don't know how long that is but that I, I think a lot about mm -hmm. full loop trails I think that gives you between connects. three and a half and a four mile right. loop which would be a real nice that would be comfortable to ride something for yeah. Ronald Walker you know, whatever. traffic on uh, Silent Grove Road say from Falcon all the way up to really Wagon Wheel Road Folks are used to seeing bikes right there, so mm -hmm. you don't necessarily need a trail on Silent Grove once you get off of Falcon, right? Falcon is the uh, more, you know, not dangerous, but it's the spot where there's a lot of traffic, yeah. right? All those neighborhoods. You just get down to Silent Grove Road, get back up to J.B. Hunt Park. Go I mean, that's literally a, a trail that people could walk, you know. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Anyway, that's my opinion. Because there's a lot of people that live in that area of town, mm -hmm. right? So Falcon would be three? Yeah. What it sounds like. What happened to smart schools? It sounds like it just got bumped to four. <laughs> <laughs> Lead your case. Yeah. That's what we're here I mean, for. I just feel like well, it's, if, it's if, an easy one. If we did move smart schools up, I don't know that it definitely would have any effect on Falcon anyway because it's a smaller item. It's broken up into probably multiple projects, and it may not come out of the bond. Mm -hmm. But if you guys put importance on it, we could push it a little bit more. The mayor was wanting us to come up with sidewalk Side projects. Yeah. yeah, I kind of feel like that needs that to be there. That was part of active transportation. What if we just propose four rather than three? Leave, leave smart schools at three or four, and then add Falcon and say that's our that's our first push. So how many dollars are we talking if we do those for? A lot. Yeah. 3.2. So 15 plus. Is the last one Falcon? Yeah. Looking around 13 million. Yeah, 13. We were shooting for 15 plus. Get up to smart the school connections to million dollars to walk us. Yeah. If you add a fixed trail to your bike around that fifteen. Sure it's not walkway. If you just make it the lowest. Yeah. So let me make sure I'm I'm following. Dean's trail would be one, the Pride Trail two, Smart Schools three, Falcon four, and Fitz Trail five. Is that, that am I caught following you guys? Yeah. Exactly. And I just kind of think of the first two as 1A and 1B, but, and not try to, mm -hmm. you know. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. And then Watkins becomes six if we got money left over and keep going. That could be a carbon reduction plan. Something like that. Watkins would be six. Back is seven. Back is seven. Mm -hmm. Tyson's could change this. 
have as a sure. audience if they wanted to help with some any. Okay. And the mayor's seen this list. Is it, did I understand that? He is sort seen of? not this list in the format you've seen it today. He's seen this as part of a list of all of the street oh. projects, all of the extra transportation projects, and all of the safe street projects that we imagined. Hundred eighty-seven million is what they seen a list of. But, but we did go over each of these projects with him. We did. Yeah, each of these were discussed. It just was proposed in this. Case. Did anything raise a red flag to him? Or he was supportive no, of all of it. Uh, he was. I can tell you that his eyes lit up a little bit about the Falcon. That, that one seemed to be one. He yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah, he said that before. Yeah. He's had a lot of calls. There's a lot of rooftops you can yeah. connect to Jamie. I'm in favor of it too. I always have a grain of salt because I do live in that area, and so I'm trying to make sure I'm not being self serving. Well, <laughs> you guys feel good about us moving forward with this? I do. Yeah. Um, I think that there's a, it's probably going to go to council for a, a session like this in June, and he said to make sure you guys knew you're invited if you're, you know, have the time to come to the meeting. When is that? I don't think there's a date set. It'll be on a Monday night because the committee meets on Monday night. You got to go to them instead of asking them to come to you. So, aren't you looking at the second committee meeting in June? That's when the first. Give me a second. I'll have a better idea for you. I think June fifth stands out. Oh really? I think. I think the idea is to hit the committee meeting on June fifth, and I think that that may be tongue in cheek hoping that we can really make the next one, but you got to strive for it or you'll never get it. So June 5th is the plan. I fully expect it may sneak two more weeks and go to the next one. Will you send us an email? Uh, yep, I'll keep you informed on it. Um, as soon as the committee agenda comes out, we'll make sure you know about it. And it usually comes about on Friday before the meeting. And they meet at 5.30. It might even be in the news. No. no. <laughs> It'll be July. Do you need anything else from the committee before uh, this moves forward and gets on an agenda? Can't think of anything else. I mean, we've got the data and stuff we've seen to back up some of the stuff. I think we have all the, the backup. Yeah, it's I just think we got plenty of backup. Getting in whatever form it takes to. It's really going to be when it goes to compete with the other bond projects, mm -hmm. how much, what yep. percent of the money available do they want to spend on active transportation? And, I don't and that's know. where you guys come into count, calling your council members and talking to them directly about how important this is for the city as a whole. We all know that. I'm not sure they understand it as much as others do. If we're at 1275, you're at 10 percent of what we think the yield will be. Is that the right number? least. Well, they think better about it than they used to. That's true. Come a long way. Yeah. They've seen what it, what effect having trails has on the community, revitalization of the community, jobs in the community. Well, and if you look at what it's done for Northwest Arkansas as a whole. Oh, absolutely. You can't, you can't ignore it anymore. Any other discussion on the priorities? We have to other business. Is there any? Anything on the greenway itself? Renumbering and all that? Uh, well, the um, all the mar markers have been put in. The concrete pads around the bottom of each of the mile marker has been installed, so we don't chip the the new coverings uh, and the. Thermoplast on the street names and the welcome to Springdale. I think at least most of ours is done. I don't know if it's done all the way to Bentonville or not. Mm -hmm. um, they had a great turnout for Square to Square. Yeah. Um, I think there was a lot of people downtown. It really, really was busy. And um, if, if you notice that there's still an old thermoplasty just south of of a meadow, I contacted them. I got a response today saying that they're on it. They missed it. They're going to fix it. The, the other ones you, you can see are new, and there's one old one. So <laughs> I noticed the water fountain's not working out at um, Spring Creek. Mm -hmm. 
I talked to Parks and Rec uh, several times this week. Um, the, some of them are broken, and they're working on those. They're trying to identify which ones are broken and which ones aren't turned on. Okay. When we get the My 16 sign installed and get everything done, we'll have a big ribbon cutting for them. We don't know that We don't know what, we stick state weeks out on the sign. No, that it was six weeks was two weeks, two ago. weeks ago. Okay, so we maybe I get think closer. We might be about a month now. Yeah. Okay. I, I spoke to the contractor out here uh, at the the I don't know what it's called the farmers market area there by the airport. The market mm -hmm. center. Yep. Yeah. They they told me that they would secure that gate so that it couldn't be opened. They fixed that uh, fabric so that it wouldn't blow anymore, mm -hmm. and that they'd get. They had a. They said that they've got a fence company uh, that's coming out to fix that fence. I know you guys have. We've gotten some complaints on that. Yeah. So you I'm may done. have noticed the new bench that was put in down here by the on, on next to the boardwalk with the red concrete underneath it. Those were donated by River Communication. Okay. Each city got a new one of those. There should be some kind of a dedication thing for those. So I looked it up the other day. The um, how many were here for the original Greenway cutting back in the day? It was May the 2nd, 2015. Mm -hmm. So it's been eight years now. Yeah, it's wow. crazy. Just, well, that was, that was eight years went by quickly, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so I've got one question. The rumors are the east entrance, south entrance, excuse me, to Jones Center is going to be closed eventually. So will we still have access. What will be our access off the tra trail? The shallow Dean's Trail, whatever into the Jones Center? Well, all that's still kind of it's, being... It's a little bit up in the air, but yeah. Will Ella may become... Um, okay. the, the, what I've heard is there will still be a pedestrian mm -hmm. access mm -hmm. off of Emma right. into the Jones Center. I had hoped so, but yeah. We, we just want to make sure where it is, yeah. with the Emma, if we do an Emma improvement project, which we're proposing as part of the transportation side of Bond, uh, that would extend from where it ends now east of yeah, east of Park to 265. Mm -hmm. We would hope that we they can tell us where they want to cross mm -hmm. and where they want their entrance so that we can make a nice crossing like mm -hmm. we're doing mm -hmm. downtown and tie that all together. So, yes, and I don't know is the answer to that question. <laughs> okay. We've been discussing as long as, long as, as, long as it's on people's mind. It is, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One thing I, I want to let you guys know, we're starting the Tension pond uh, at the northwest corner of the airport, mm -hmm. which has no bearing on anything except when they do the sewer pump around. There's going to be a pipe and a ramp on Dean's Trail. It'll always be you'll be always be able to go over it, but rather than tear up the trail and then put it back, they're going to hump over it. Uh, <coughs> I'll let you know when we get closer. Mm -hmm. yeah, we okay. need those detention ponds soon. Are they going to tunnel under it to put the pipe under? It's just a, a pump around for now. Well, the pump pipe's around. going elsewhere. Okay. They just got to pump the sewer around, and it, the only way to go is gotcha. over the trail. There's some projects waiting for that plumber to be done. They, that sidewalk area that they have torn up there uh, at, uh, at that construction site by the airport? They use the hub. That, the hub, the food hub is what has it. Food, food hub. hub. Okay, yeah. Northwest Arkansas Food Hub. Yeah. They told me that they would take about three weeks. I don't think that's even close to how long they're going to be. We need to run that page. I thought they were supposed to be doing it. Well, I, we can, yeah, we can I went down there yesterday and I'm like, this is, this is, it's already been a couple of weeks. <laughs> and they haven't done it yet. You know. But, you know, I, I get it. But it takes a while to build stuff. But you also have to stay. I walked stay. that two weeks ago. I don't remember. I'm sure I walked right over it and just didn't pay attention. So the, the trail is cut? And no, no, the trail is not cut. It's the sidewalk. I, I, I parked and walked down there, and I had to go out into Emma to get in. Oh, there. I yes, I did the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Is there any other business? If not, I guess our June meeting would, would be the 14th. Is that going to be our day? Chris said he'll be, he'll be out. out. If they're going to make the fifth committee, mm -hmm. 
you may want to have another meeting right before that, right? We might until right after it, so that you can circle the wagons when the board is known. Just a recommendation. 14th of June is Foo Fighters concert. Guess what? The Foo Fighters concert at the AM, so I won't be there. I'll be out there. Well, we'd have to back it up in two weeks to meet, meet the council Monday meeting. The 31st, 31st of May. Yeah, and maybe we want to do it that, that often. Uh, so. But do you think there's a possibility it's not going to make it till the meeting on the 19th? Well, of course, I think there's a possibility. Okay. I don't think it's going to move up any. Yeah. 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 What if we set this meeting for the 7th? Where, can, can you be here then, Chris? 7th of June, I leave on the 6th and come back on the 14th. I don't think that the 7th would do us any good because it's either going to be the 5th or after. Well, but if they just start talking about it on the 5th, they're not going to make any decisions. Mm -hmm. so okay. You might get some input on the 5th and then you can get a meeting right after that where you guys talk about, well, this is what we heard them talking about and we need to rethink our ads. But if they met on the, if they didn't meet on the 5th or didn't have, they would be meeting on the 19th, is that right? Two weeks? That's Two weeks later, yeah. So our normal meeting would still be prior to that. So that Chris is not going to make either one. So if we just <laughs> stayed on schedule, then we'd be the 14th. We can always call a special meeting if we see there's a need. You know. Do we have? I know we have to record these meetings. Do we have an option to do it? Um, you know, by Zoom or conference or whatever. I think you could do that. Well, Mayor has pretty much taken out the Zoom option for city functions because the general public doesn't get into Zoom meetings as well. So we don't do a lot of them. Yeah, okay. And the city don't want to buy us like a lunch at Casa Alejo or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> One time, uh, yes. <laughs> but it's in Ben's budget, not mine. If it is, it's well hidden. <laughs> yeah, it's always well hidden. I've never seen that light on. I didn't either, but you know, yeah, that's true. But I want to leave it at the 14th and we can react if we have to. Sure. sure. We we'll change if we need to. All right. If there's no other business, will you stand adjourned? Thanks for your time.